Sabrina Carpenter's feather was so disrespectful to the church it was filmed in that the bishop had to re-bless the altar afterward. Here's a look at feather and the insane messages it communicates to the viewers. Sabrina Carpenter is one of the many ex-Disney child stars turned pop singers. After starring in Disney's Girl Meets World and Adventures in Babysitting, Carpenter graduated to pop singer status where her image changed and everything about her became about the elite's agendas. In this way, she's been following the same career path as Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez, where she went from a wholesome actress to an all-out tool of indoctrination to her young fans. In 2019, I looked at her video In My Bed, which was clearly about monarch programming. It was so blatant that it could be referred to as Mind Control 101, and it was released by Disney's Hollywood Records. In this scene from In My Bed, Carpenter is in a stray jacket, and her eyes are hypnotized as her handlers analyze and reprogram her. The entire video is replete with MK symbolism. Since then, Carpenter has been set up for success. She signed with Universal Music Publishing Group and joined Taylor Swift's Massive Eras Tour as an opener. Mass media has been hard at work building up Sabrina Carpenter as a major celebrity. It's all artificial. With these pieces in place, the timing was perfect to release a profoundly toxic and borderline satanic music video for her fans to absorb. And while at it, her team decided to desecrate a whole church in the process. In past Vigilant Citizen articles, I've highlighted numerous times how actual churches are desecrated in the filming of music videos. By doing so, the people involved are, in a way, conducting satanic black masses, which are all about corrupting actual Christian rituals. Not only that, they make the millions of unsuspecting viewers witness it all. Feather is no exception. The video begins with various shots inside an actual church, the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Church in Brooklyn. In this shot, we see that they've added a neon cross. Neon crosses have become an important symbol in occult elite-sponsored videos. They can be found in videos such as Kesha's Praying, The Weeknd's Star Boy, and Iggy Azalea's Savior. A screenshot from Iggy Azalea's Savior featuring a bunch of neon crosses. The message of the video is highly satanic. What do these neon crosses symbolize? Well, Neon lights are usually associated with urban sleaze and decadence, shady businesses, gambling, strip clubs, and so forth. Interesting fact, the neon capital of the world, Las Vegas, is dubbed Sin City. In short, neon crosses are basically about ridiculing the actual cross and Christianity in general. If neon crosses are a little too subtle for most people to get, Feather gets rather heavy-handed with its disrespect. On the altar are several caskets, including this one that says, RIP. <laughs> Does this curse word belong on a church altar? Would they dare do such a thing in the sacred temple of any other religion? Later in the video, Carpenter dances around in a revealing outfit. She's celebrating the death of several men, including one she murdered. That's all very blasphemous and all out insane. When the video came out, Bishop Robert Brennan was appalled by what took place in the church. He was also displeased with the local parish who allowed this to happen and removed him from his position. And all of this made the news. In a statement, the bishop stated, Brennan is appalled at what was filmed at Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Church in Brooklyn. The parish did not follow diocesan policy regarding the filming on church property, which includes a review of the scenes and script. Following the announcement, Brennan and Monsignor Joseph Grimaldi conducted a massive reparation during which the bishop blessed the altar with holy water. In a statement following the Mass, the diocese said, Through the offering of this Mass, Bishop Brennan has restored the sanctity of this church and repaired the harm. That is all well and good, but did the Mass restore the sanctity of the millions of people who watched the video? Because this video is very foul, and for several reasons. The reason why Sabrina Carpenter is dancing around coffins is because these guys acted somewhat inappropriately. So they had to... <laughs> that is the reasoning behind this video. That guy and a couple of his buddy's cat called Sabrina. They deserved... <laughs> Shortly after, a truck runs over the guys. Meanwhile, Sabrina is very unfazed and rather pleased by the violent death of three people. Kind of psychopathic, if you ask me. 
In another scene, Sabrina is in a gym with a bunch of dudes while wearing an attention-grabbing outfit. One guy touches her arm. He deserves to <laughs> and everyone else too while we're at it. Shortly after, the guys start fighting over her because she's just that irresistible. As this violence occurs, Sabrina takes selfies. How self-absorbed can you be? After the carnage, there's blood everywhere. As Sabrina tiptoes around the numerous dead bodies, she's all like, well, that's what you get for being slightly inappropriate. In another scene, Sabrina straight up murders a guy. A guy takes a picture of Sabrina's <laughs> while inside an elevator. He definitely deserves to <laughs> In response to this transgression, Sabrina sticks the guy's tie out of the elevator as the doors close. Meanwhile, he's pleading for his life. The guy <laughs> brutally as his blood pours out. This is pop music now. Meanwhile, Sabrina is all like boo bye while she sings, I feel so much lighter like a feather with you off my mind. Psycho. The guy was a loser for taking the pick, but did the punishment fit the crime? Of course not. However, men being murdered in music videos has become a recurring theme. They want to portray the death of men because it symbolically represents an important agenda, the destruction of masculinity. The transgressions that preceded each death in Feather are merely an excuse to depict these bloody deaths and to cause people to say, well, he deserved it. The video ends with Sabrina dancing sexily on a church altar around four coffins. The entertainment industry is sick. Sabrina Carpenter is a pop star who was built from scratch by the elite to do as she's told. And as she's purposely placed under the spotlight, she's being used to perpetuate the same toxic agendas pushed by her industry slave, colleagues. There is absolutely nothing new, original, or distinctive about Feather. It could have been performed by any other interchangeable pop star because it is not art, it is indoctrination. Indeed, in a few short minutes, the video manages to put on screen several obsessions of the elite. The desecration of Christianity, the celebration of the elite's culture of death, and the destruction of masculinity. And, throughout the video, Sabrina Carpenter displays heavy symptoms of narcissism, self <laughs> and even psychopathy while her fans scream, YES, QUEEN! Because all of this is deemed cool. But none of this is cool. It's insane. Kind of like dancing around coffins that say, RIP inside a church. Now it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting and informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.